My name's Steve Wilson, and I'm a conceptual artist. And I like to say conceptual because to me it's about the medium, and the medium to me is the message. So where my work is unique is it, it kind of melds you know, computerized embroidery and drawing with 3D sculpture, laser cutting, really a lot of different mediums to do finished works. If you're represented by a gallery, it's usually every 18 months you'll get a solo show, which means it's just you and all your work, which is, you know, like a lot of pressure. My gallerist and, you know, another art advisor I work with said it'd be great to do a public piece. So the opera was a natural fit. The name of the opera is The Girl from the West, and it's uh, early 1900s is when it was written by uh, Puccini. And I started saying, well, that's like, you know, it's a great theme. So I said, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this piece. It's gonna be huge, 20 plus feet wide, eight feet tall. It consists of like 43 different pieces of art that will then all click together to form this giant mural. And I made the presentation that the opera people all came. They immediately just said, yes, let's do it. So then I like got thought thinking about it and it was like, whew, like now I gotta figure out how to do this, which is way harder than I ever thought it would be. Every artist will say, well, inspiration strikes and you have this idea, which is completely true. And those ideas all start with just a sketch. Probably one out of 10 sketches I do will go to the next phase. Then it goes to like really a digital uh, blueprint. So we have you know, digital drafting tools and a lot of technology involved to create this then kind of composite or digital mock-up. And this is like what's truly unique about my work is I'll take my stylus and I trace every single stitch right on top of that drawing. So that's why I'll say like, what technique am I gonna do? Is it gonna look like handwork? Is it gonna be dimensional? And then it goes to the next phase, which is picking out fabric. And all the fabric was essentially from Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren to me is Americana. You know, globally it's just what he is. So to me, there was no other fit. And then that fabric is put on the machine and the digitized file I created stitches on top of that fabric. And then each one of those is then wrapped around like a little block of wood. And then you'll see certain ones are raised or lowered for like really a, like a rippling 3D effect. Then each block is individually glued in place and then screwed in place from the back. So it'll never move again. And I, I want my pieces to stand the test of time. So a lot of care goes into that final step, which is assembling. Icons and the iconography are like probably my favorite thing in art. There's a lot of hidden imagery and details in these pieces, so the closer you get, you'll see that that cowgirl is essentially a mosaic of 225 individual little icons that, that form this picture. So I think by themselves are kind of innocuous. You're like, well, it's just a cowgirl silhouette. But when you see it in a grouping of 400 of them, all those things combine to make fine art. So you don't notice them until you notice them, and then they're everywhere. To me, that's when I'm like the happiest, when they see it, appreciate the art for what it is, and then notice that it's something different.